You settle in, begin to relax. Soften the eyes. Soften the neck. Gently bring your awareness to the breath. Take a few deep inhales and exhales. Feeling your lungs expand and contract. Allowing your body to settle into the here and now. Then allow the breath to soften, just feeling where the sensation of the breath is most clear. Perhaps it's in the nostrils or the abdomen where the breath rises and falls. Maybe it's in the lungs. And once that's clear, Still your attention there. Connecting with the beginning of each breath as it appears and disappears. And once it disappears, notice the very start of a fresh new breath. As you breathe in, be aware of breathing in. As you breathe out, be aware of breathing out. Each new breath arrives, and let each breath go.
Now relax your attention. Relax the body. As we observe Martin Luther King Jr. Day, I thought it would be appropriate to talk about the theme of contribution. Thinking back to Dr. King's legacy, I'm humbled by the immense contribution he made during his lifetime. He fought and sacrificed with wisdom and courage to advance the cause of equality. And the consequences of his tireless work will stretch far into the future. Today, I began reflecting on my own contributions, and I'd like to encourage you to do the same. I invite you to be inspired by Martin Luther King Jr. and spend a bit of time today contemplating the ambitious things you aspire to do with your life. Maybe you have big dreams of realizing an invention or organization that improves the lives of millions. It's easy to let others discourage us from our bold dreams, so it's up to us to find ways to hold on to those inspirations. And while striving for the larger, lifelong contributions, also important are the less obvious ones, the people you support every day in small ways. For many of us, our main sense of contribution comes from the role we play as a parent, sibling, volunteer, neighbor, or friend. There are probably contributions you might not even think about as contributions. Acts like helping a friend through a heartache or planning a playdate for your kids. Allow the value you create for others to give you a sense of purpose and fulfillment. And as you become more mindful of how you support others, grow those contributions, expand them, let them flourish. Following Dr. King's example, I invite you to pursue purpose. Be motivated by meaning. Envision your entire life as one unfolding opportunity to create goodness in the world. As Dr. King himself said, life's most persistent and urgent question is, what are you doing for others? Now, as we near the end of practice, come back to your body, come back to the room, feel your feet on the ground, and when you're ready, open your eyes. I hope you enjoy today's daily calm. Have a wonderful day, and we'll see you back here tomorrow. So, uh, what does everyone think about the message or the meditation today, David? Um, this gives us an example of the legacy of Martin, Martin Luther King led us behind and we should be encouraged to follow his footsteps. See? Yeah. I like his. That's a good message, yeah. Sierra, what did you get out of today? Um, I feel like yeah, um, I get other meditation exercises. It helps keep the body and the mind relaxed. And since today's um, Martin Luther King Day, um, I remember some of his like legacies. Like we had did a speech of "I, I Have a Dream." Mm-hmm. That that that's something that really reflects me the most, and it really stands for me. Also, he has fought every um, like, for example, like social justice and stuff. Like he dealt with like. Like, like like the civil rights so mm-hmm. that's something um he's, he's like our hero yeah yeah and, and today of course is martin luther king day so it might do us well to at least look up a quote or something or even a short video on his accomplishments so that's good joe yeah. what did you think okay very similar yeah. willie how about you sir well, what I do on the Martin Luther King meditation, I figure out why with justice for people, and then when he was saying, "I have a dream," speech, yep. he wanted to make sure that most people doesn't want to be together, 
because they don't be not the judge by their skin color or their religion. Right. Excellent, really. Yeah. Thank you. Yeah. yeah, heart that from Sierra. All right. Mm -hmm. uh, Jason Kaufman, what do you think? I service today. Do service. I do service uh, today. Do it. Memories. Okay, yeah. Do like take food to. And take the food bank. Take food to the food bank. Yeah, so you're doing service for others today. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yes, yeah. sir. Yeah, excellent. That's perfect. Thank you, Jason. Uh, Elena, what do you do? I thought, you know, you know, I think especially now in today's world, I think a lot of us all need to study more of um, Martin Luther King's legacy because I kind of sometimes find myself thinking, if he were still alive today, what would his... Um, uh, opinions be towards all the injustices that are going around and I you know I believe you know he really was a fighter for inclusion not just for people of color but for for everyone I, I agree that we as athlete leaders we're continuing keeping Eunice Kennedy Shriver's um, legacy alive Thank you, Alina. I no agree you race, say. Color, mm -hmm. ease, sex, mm -hmm. it doesn't matter. He would fight for all of that. Thank you. Mm -hmm. yeah, Alina, I agree you say that. Mm -hmm. All right. And then uh, we'll go to, go to Sarah. I see her in the chat. So uh, Sarah um, thought that volunteering is a good way to get uh, getting out of your own head and thinking of others, which is a great thing. We sometimes are very much in our own heads, right? The world's about us. Uh, and then from Sarah's mom, if anyone is interested in finding ways to contribute or serve, you can visit, uh, and they offered a website, sashabruce.org, to help. That's one way, uh, if you have your own, uh, so that that organization helps homeless youth. Uh, and they had just heard a great presentation from them. So, uh, so that's an option, or as Jason is doing something on his own, uh, you know, as you think of service today, uh, maybe it's not, you can't get it done today, but think of maybe service sometime this week in, in kind of honoring the legacy. So, uh, so thanks for joining the, um, the meditation today. Really appreciate your time.